I know they came out with a with a new uh, counter for it, like Tron bikes or some shit like that. It's set. Great. Hold on. Oh, I just thought of something right now. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, PlayStation Experience. Yeah, it was 2017. 2017 for like I don't I don't remember when, but I know it was like 2017. So they I'm pretty sure they have to show something either tomorrow at the uh, Game Awards or at the Experience. I only I've only seen it. I never played it so. Yeah, I have. I played the uh, GTA 3, GTA Vice City. Uh, I played, I think it was Bully. I played, uh, but I just didn't never picked up GTA 5 Red Dead Redemption. Even though Red Dead Redemption was fucking good, because uh, they told me like if 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 you like uh, if you like Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption is like Westworld, literally. Uh, I, you know, yeah, I did, I did, I, I did play GTA 4, I played it, but in, uh, to the point where, like, I'm almost, like, maybe two trophies away from platinum it. I do have to jump back on the PS3 here. just to uh, finish up uh, GTA 4 because I'm only missing two trophies and they shut down the they shut down the servers for GTA 4 a while back, but then they brought them back up just so people could continue uh, getting the trophies and finish playing it off. So I have I have no idea, but I have to do it soon at least before they decide like you know what, let's just shut this shit off. The only two, the only thing I'm missing is like I need like, like two or three other people with PS3s, and then on top of that, like I need just need to level my character up to like rank ten, which is the highest possible rank. And I think I'm at rank seven or something like that, but it's, the grind is getting fucking hard already. But if I have people to play with me, it makes it easier to to do the missions over and over and over because it's like I have a team to do it with. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's the one I did and stuff. But it's just the uh, the fact of finding people it makes it hard to to get a team going. far I'm in the game so but I'm at the FBI I'm hacking the FBI right now
I gotta take any cash to uh, to experience because they're gonna have a, a bunch of slides so any cash but they're gonna be selling shit a little merchandise oh yeah credit debit and cash yeah. I'm out but damn it total fail I got jack shit Contraire, dude. You got the hideout's frequency. We just gotta triangulate and we'll find out where it's at. Mm, I might just get a shirt or a sweater. First point. Right. Oh. I found a couple other antennas to complete the triangle. I'll maybe uh maybe whatever uh whatever like rare items you can only get at the experience like that you can't get online or something like that. I just crashed into somebody nasty style. Literally, he was on his bike and I just landed on his fucking shoulder and stuff and just knocked him the fuck out. It's pretty dope, though. You been hiking lately? Hey Wrench, I'm about to get the third point here. Get it done, man. You get anywhere with that waitress? I'm gonna hear her back next Thursday. Dude. Yeah, she seems pretty together. Not like. Move it right there. I'm not doing anything. On the ground now. I'm just walking my cat. I have, but I used to hike a, a lot, but since I don't have my car, I can't do shit right now. But he, um, there's one right there in uh, San Fernando. It's called um, what was the place called? Oh, uh, Old Melbourne. It had about maybe a good like, like about six trails and stuff. And I don't know how far it goes, but you could go pretty far. And yeah, you could go pretty far, like really okay. Mm -hmm. that there you go okay that's what i'm gonna say but when, when i went like I, w I made it all the way to the top i took the shortcut and there's a tree and in that tree there's a there's a hole in, inside that tree and there's a book and you can write things on it and you can read other people's like little notes and uh like uh, messages that they left right there and so it's kind of like uh there's this uh this is app. I for, it's called a. Uh, I forgot the name of the app, but it's called Geo GeoCatch, and it's. So I use that 
I used that to find it and I found the, the book inside the tree, which was pretty cool. Um, besides that, um, so once I passed that, I went, I went uh, further to the top and I got all the way to the top and I'm like, okay, let's go check out what's over here. And there was a gate. There was a gate and it was open and I walked in and, and like literally the whole environment was different from where I was because the whole time it was either windy, muddy and all dirt. But once I walked into that gate, it was literally like all grass, tr uh, white trunk, white trunk trees with like weird leaves. But I didn't want to go any further because I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here because the gate's open. It's kind of creepy and there's no one around. There's like a little miniature house there. And I'm like, I have no idea who or what lives here and stuff. But I think it's a, I think it's the one you're telling me that there's a it connects to another park. I'm pretty sure it's that same one as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the other ones I've been to, there's one uh, I don't know the name of the park, but I think it's called Victory Road. I think that's the name of the trail. It it. If you let's say uh, let's say you take a uh, victory, victory street, like if you're going to Woodland Hills, right? And you keep taking you keep taking the the road all the way to the end. It takes you to a park, a trail called Victory Road, and apparently uh, that one that one's pretty cool, dude. I must say uh, the hike the hike is pretty easy. It's literally just a kind of like a snake. It's pretty long, but but there's no like hills you have to climb. But there's they have some great views, dude. Like I took a I took a detour where I made a I took a right fork, and I started walking there. And apparently, like it circles back to circle back to Woodland Hills, where you can you see you can see Woodland Hills from a different viewpoint. But it's a it's a probably like a five mile hike, and it'll probably take you about a good maybe thirty to forty minutes at a, at a moderate pace. But in between. Uh, there's like there's like pit stops right there where you can chill and relax and there was one pit stop I made where there's a tree trunk that I guess already like uh, fell over on the side and it was just there chilling but if you sat on that and you looked in, down into the hills it looked like a scene from Lord of the Rings yeah it was pretty badass was... let's see what's this Um, but I didn't, I only done that one path, but it has, a, it has a, the main path goes further down. And the way you can tell is like, bef when you get on the Victory Trail Road, there's going to be a hill right on your right side. There's going to be a hill, go up top, and you're going to look forward, and you're going to see that it has, there's a trail that goes very north. You can go all the way north into that trail, and I don't know where it leads, but... For, from what I'm told, apparently it leads to Malibu. Yeah. And uh, the one time that I did go, I went uh, with uh, with my friend. 